This video will show you all the things you can do with your mouse and we're going to go through all of them. The first thing is a single left click. So I'm going to press the left side of the mouse and I'm just going to press quickly. That's a single click. So from the top, that's a single click. Click. The second one is a double click, double left click. So I'm going to use the same button, but I'm going to click um, two in a row quite quick. So if you look at it from the side, click, click. From the top. The third one is a right click. So we're going to use the right side of the mouse to do a right click. So simple as that. I'm looking from the top right click right click we can also use the scroll wheel which is on this side here very often is to zoom or to slide some list so I just have to slide if I want to go to the bottom or I can slide to the top the top this way or the other way something we use very often is to select different files or to draw some uh, selections. So how we do this, we're going to do a left click. We're going to keep the left click, the left finger down, and we're going to move the mouse at the same time. So I'm going to press and keep my finger down. So I'm pressing and keep it down, and then I can do my selection and move it around. And then I can release it. I'll repeat again from the side. I'm going to put my finger down, move the mouse, and then I can release. So this one is for the drag and drop. I can drag an object, I select it, and then I move it somewhere else, and I can release. Or I can select an area. I will select an area, keep the left click down, and I'm going to select my area, and release. Now to the keyboard. Very often we use some control key that help us to go uh, quicker and to do some manipulations. The one we use very often is the control key. So very often I will set all the control key down and then you can click. So holding the control key down means I'm going to press this control key and I'm going to keep it down. Control key is down. I do all the manipulation that I want to do with the mouse and once I'm finished I can release it. This is the same thing with the shift key. I can hold the shift key down. Once I've finished my manipulations, I can release it. And also for the alt sometime. Of course we use the space bar, space bar. So I can sort of uh, tap the space bar or not very often to start some videos. So space bar down and so on. We also use the different arrows. So we can use the arrows up to go up or to go down, same thing left, sorry, right and left, and I can also keep them down, up arrow down until I finished, same thing for any keys I can go down, if I want to go down to a list quickly. Same thing for the page up and page down, you can page up if I want to travel through document or page down, and I can also keep it pressed for a while, keep it pressed or down. We are also using a lot of shortcuts on the keyboard that we also use with the mouse. So one of the most important one is to copy and paste that we use um, and it's Control C and Control V. So I'm going to press Control key down, press C for copy. And if I want to paste Control V and I can paste it. So copy Control C, paste Control V. I can also, um, sometimes I will say, okay, all the control key down and press left click. So we hold the control key down and we press the left key. And we can select different items. Same story, I can also say, hold the shift key down and do a left click single. To select different elements in a list or all the elements, we also use the um, control A shortcut that allows us to select everything in the list. So I will use the control key down and press the A key for control A, select all. Control A, I'm selecting everything. 
can also use sometimes Control N or Control T, all sort of shortcut. Also, something that we use quite often is the escape key, so which is situated right in the top corner here. So if escape, we can press escape to get out of some programs as well. Another one you might use sometime if you want to make a copy of the screen, we're going to use the print screen button and I will print the screen.